After scoring zero goals in 27 league appearances last year, Gesteed has left, and we have gotten a pretty good fee for him. £100,000. For a player that we got for free last season, I will take that profit margin. Let's go spend some money. Hello guys and welcome back to the 14th episode of the FM21 Salford City Save where today is the transfer window and we are starting a brand new season. If you don't want any spoilers and you didn't see the last episode, go look back at it so that you don't, you know, get anything ruined. But what happened last season, as you all should know, I've given you a spoiler warning, we didn't get promoted so we're in the Skybet League 2 for another season. And we're going to have to definitely get promoted because the board are already getting a little frustrated with me. But I'm, I'm sure they'll be happy about some of the stuff that I've done so far. Some good sales and certainly some good purchases. The funny thing is, a lot of it's still in this year apparently. But we're going to roll with it. Starting with the sales, all the way from... Not yeah, from here down, we have sold all of these players for a grand total of what looks like about... £250,000, so quite a hefty amount of money, and a bit that we're able to spend quite well, and I'm hoping I do spend it well. We start off with the sale of Hayden Campbell, then we got rid of Marcus Barnes, another player that we got in on a free, never really cracked into the squad, actually didn't get a single league appearance, and uh, getting £47,000 for him is certainly not bad at all. Reese Cole, he's a player that I actually quite like, and I think has a bit of potential, but we didn't really need him we've got a lot of cover in that midfield position and especially with him not being quite at the quality that we need right now i think he was a good sale Gesteed, we've already gone over it he was shocking for us last year literally zero goals in 27 appearances in total he had how many appearances for us at the club he had one goal from 27 plus 9 36 appearances Gosh, I will admit a lot of them were off the bench, but it's not good enough. Next, we got rid of Isaac Buckley Ricketts, who again, free transfer. Not one that we played a lot last season, and even when we did play him, he didn't seem too good. So I'm very happy with the fee that we got for him. Moving on over here, we can see that we got rid of Dan Jones, a man that we got on a loan. Well, he was loaned out. And I've sold him for only £500 because his contract was expiring and he wanted a lot of money so I wasn't interested. Moray is a player I'm a little sad to see go. He was quite good for us and a, certainly a good rotation option but probably not quite at the standing that we need so 10 k is about right to me. George Boyd is left as well on a free transfer and now we're getting into the juicy stuff. The signings and there's a lot of youngsters in here. If you remember a few episodes back I did sign a bunch of them. And they've finally come in and just about all of them are two star current ability with five star potential ability it is pretty pretty good work for me i'm not gonna lie this is kind of the smartest thing i've done all save and every single one of them is an amazing signing we've also managed to bring in ryan fulton as a reserve goalkeeper finally got a reserve goalkeeper that'll actually play um he looks pretty solid definitely just a backup but it's good to have him in the squad Going on to the next season now, we have also brought in Matty Willock again on a free, but I think he's just a wee bit better than some of the other players, and having him in on a free with a wee bit of potential, I think he's a good signing. He's definitely an upgrade on Cole, and he's definitely going to be in and around the team. We've also managed to get in Giovanni Brown, who is a good replacement for Marias, as he does play in that. Uh, central attacking midfielder role we could even put him up in striker if we need to he's got some very good stats and I think the three star current ability doesn't tell the whole story but the fact that he didn't do very well last season for Colchester does make me a wee bit nervous but I'm still hopeful that he can make an impact in the squad but apart from that that's all the business that we have done it's not that exciting and unfortunately I've kind of baited you a wee bit we've spent we've got a lot of money that we've brought in but not a lot of it is actually available to spend. I don't know why, but we had about 10k worth of wages in the negatives, and I didn't have that months ago. I don't know where it came from, but it's come, and yeah, we just have to deal with it. So we, I, I never got a boost of 51,000 pounds for the next season, so I, I just don't know what's going on, to be honest. Uh, yeah, it's not ideal, and it's kind of all we've got to deal with, but... 
we're rolling with it and hopefully we can find some good free transfers and sell some more players to get some more fuds into the squad. Haven't played any friendlies just yet, but we have some big ones against Middlesbrough, Boston and the Leicester under-23s before jumping into the start of the season, which isn't all that far away. It's actually coming up this month, but we still have plenty of time to make some great signings and I will let you know when we do get them done. But for now, make sure that you do like this video. Can we please get six likes for the start of a new season? That would be amazing. Can we also make sure that we get a couple more subscribers from this video? That would be awesome to see you all supporting and loving this series. And uh, yeah, I'm just so stoked with the position that the channel is in right now. So thank you all so much for the support. But I'm going to go do some transfers because yeah, I, I, I kind of need to improve the squad. All right, I'm not going to lie to you. This day came around a lot faster than I actually expected. Yeah, we're, we're ready to go for the start of the season. I have made some transfers, luckily, and uh, it's time to work out who we have brought in and who we have got now is probably just as important. Starting with Doyle, he has left the club on a free, not a player that we use too much, so happy to get rid of him on a free. Golden, actually, someone that we did use a fair amount, but just not quite what we needed for the squad and there's better free options out there so again another wage off the books and we don't mind that Turnbull a player that I did actually quite like and someone that has a good rotation option at the very least but we got 50k for him so I think it's an intelligent sale and it means that we can bring in more better players well hopefully better players we've also gotten rid of Sergeant don't actually know who he is don't know why he's coming up on that but we're going with it anyway and Heath has gone for 16.75 thousand pounds yeah I'm not gonna lie that one looks like not a lot of money but we got him on a free he had a high wage and we weren't actually going to use him so I think it's definitely worth getting him off the books now time for the signings at the the things you all actually want to know about starting with another goalkeeper yeah I will admit we didn't really need him but it's 550 pounds a week, so cut me some slack here. Next, we have brought in Bulger, who is a pretty good centre-back option, in my opinion. Actually, he's not a centre-back option. He's probably our best centre-back. So I'm very happy with him as a free signing. He's got experience up in the League One and even in the Championship. Don't know if he's actually played a Championship game, but he's he's been in Championship teams, so that's enough for me he's definitely a sky bet league one sort of quality player so i'll definitely take that we also managed to brought in uh pui pui jamal gonna work on that pronunciation he's a man coming out on loan from manchester united not got any appearances for them but he's certainly going to make some for us this year a perfect mazala if he learns how to dribble a bit more so i think he's a good box to box midfield option as well certainly one that we're going to use a lot this season and I'm, I'm opening up to the options of bringing people online especially with this one we've brought in lucas da kuna yeah again we'll work on that pronunciation he's worth 1.6 million pounds he's in on loan for a year and he has some very nice stats in from loan from nice and uh, you know he's a great player and i'm hoping that he can do wondrous things for us out on the wing so that's our squad that is the changes that we have made and we are facing Cheltenham Town in our first game of the league season. Cheltenham Town, not the best side ever, finished in 20th place last year. So I'm hoping we can brush them to the side and come away with an easy win. I mean, I'm not sure where we're predicted to finish this year. I mean, it probably isn't great because last year we didn't do great. But in the season preview, no, we're favourites to go up. 11 to 10 okay that's that's really likely isn't it and we've got a lot of players in the best 11 no no pressure at all we've got clark our goalkeeper bolger at the silver henderson yep there's i don't I, i'm not feeling the pressure at all i don't know about you guys but i'm i'm certainly not but i have actually picked the team that we're going to be using for this game and this is what in my opinion is our best 11 two wingers don't know how i feel about it but we're giving it a crack to start us off and Hunter, yeah, I, I will admit, it looks interesting having him as a CM, but he's got the stats for it. Like, his first touch isn't perfect, but I, I think maybe this could get the best out of him this year. And I'll, I'll give him a few chances, a few runs in the team, and if it doesn't work out, we can always move. Uh, po, 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 uh, this, he doesn't even have an easy first name, it's, it's difficult all round. But this man, 
into that uh, Mazzala role. But for now, we're going to give this a crack. We've got some good players on the bench, including Wilson, Brown, Willock, Tau, Toure, and Clark, who has been knocked down to the bench, even though he is our captain, technically. He's, uh, he's not getting first-team minutes just yet. Actually, Doherty's not required to have a fitness test, so I might bring Willock off. So he's a player that I thought I'd actually be using a lot, so... Interesting to see how quickly he's gone down the picking order. Flanagan, again, another good player, but just not quite making the first 11 at this current point in time. But I'm pretty confident with this lineup. I think it's just about the best that we can do, but we have a lot of rotation that we can do if um, players aren't playing well. And that that's, you know, important for a squad that are looking to hopefully win the title. Henderson, uh, Dakuna, Clark, Hunter, Boigmel, Close, Oscar, Bolger, Cargill, De Silva, and our goalkeeper in between the sticks. There's a lot of names I cannot pronounce in there, and I would like to say that I'm going to learn them all. I, I just don't know if I will, though. He can have number 16, Bolger can have number 4, and Fulton can have number 74, because he is our second choice goalkeeper, and I do not care about his squad number. Jumping into the first game of the season, not going to act like I'm not stressed. It wasn't a great season last year. But apparently want we want to avenge what happened last time. The exact same tactic might be a debatable decision based off how it did for us last year. And they have two shots early on, but it looks like we could have the first shot. And I would give it straight to them. Definitely stress now. May, running down the left-hand side. And, and tactical changes. It's, I'm already thinking about them. I'm not going to lie. McLaughlin sends it forward, but we do win a header. And I think that this actually could be our at attacking opportunity. Clark has it out on the right-hand side. He loses it. That's... That's not exactly doing well for my attacking opportunity. But we get it back. Bolger doing a good interception. And Clark is looking to cut inside. He's a winger. But he's certainly finding some space there. Good ball over to Henson. Who oh, I thought, thought we managed to score early on there. But unfortunately for us, he is considered offside. I mean, I let, let me be the judge of that. He's done a good run here. Yeah, no, he is offside. Oh, I'll, I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one, FM. You know, FM1. Raxo FM nil. I mean, uh, my name is just better than yours because I've got the Raxo at the start. You're just FM, so technically I think I should be better. And we're coming in with another opportunity now. The stats do not show us playing well at all, but we seem to be seeing opportunities coming our way, so I'm hoping it does end up being our chance. Hunter somehow gets it back to... I don't know who it was. We're, we're rolling with it. It goes wide, and it looks like we actually are coming back into this game. And another chance could be going our way to prove exactly that. Oscar on the ball, cutting inside, playing it to Pugmal, who goes for the shot. And I think I've worked out how to pronounce that. Pugmal. P P P P P someone tell me. Someone just comment, please. I, I need help. I need help tactically as well. They've almost scored there. Lucky we've kept a hold of this goalkeeper because, mate, he, he, he's, he wants to go. Brighton came in with an offer. He wasn't happy that I rejected it. I just, I just need him. I need him because, yeah, well, I, I, he's the only thing keeping us together. Let's all be honest here. He's in the dream team, and the defense seems to be doing quite well at the moment. They are in with a throw now. This is an action-packed game, and I don't know if I love it. Gesteed is playing against us. If he scores, I will have a fit because he doesn't know how to score for me. So I, I don't want him scoring for anyone else. I'm hoping. That we somehow get some more opportunities coming our way. But it looks like there's another one going their way. I don't know what I need to do with this tactic. Guess he scores. First day of the season. First goal from corner. Oh, I hate this guy. I hate Guess Deed. He is easily my least favourite player in the entire world. I think we might try this. And drop it down to this. Because we have two wingers. So I think it makes sense to whip early balls into the box. And we'll see what happens in the last 10 minutes of the first half. We're 1-0 down, but we're not panicking. Well, you might not be panicking. I'm, I'm definitely panicking, though. Guess Deed scored. That's, that's when you know you're bad. If, it's not a good show, is it? It's not a good show. We're going to tell them that we're disappointed with their performance in the uh, first half. And I'm hoping to see a better performance in the second half. Hopefully, we get an early goal get ourselves back onto level terms. I mean, the XG is definitely in their favour, but we look like we could have an opportunity from a throw-in here as the Silvers on the ball. 
looking to whip in a cross early, as I've told them to do. Plays it in, and Clark is on the ball. He hits it first time, and there's his first goal of the season. There's our first goal of the season, and we will certainly take that. I'm, 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 you can't see me because I don't have a camera, but I'm pumping my fist. I'm very happy about it. Clark hits the ball there, and, you know, nothing the goalkeeper can do about it. Brilliant hit with his left peg, and hopefully we can add to that lead. Hopefully we don't concede here. We don't. Well, never say never. It's not the chances are over yet. I'm very stressed. They are playing it into Dooley. Dooley whips the ball in, but can't find anyone. And Clark is breaking away now. We're looking for a short pass. No, no, okay. He's not going for a short pass. He's going for a bad pass. But we've got it straight back. Hunter on the ball, playing in that Mazal roll for the first time. He does dribble past one. I think he's going to go for the shot himself. He does. And unfortunately, no one is up to snatch that rebound. Wasn't his best shot, but it did enough to trouble the goalkeeper. And actually, based off his rating, I think he might be the first player to make way in this game. And I'm going to put Pugmil into that position. I, I swear I pronounce his name different every single time I say it, but we're rolling with it. We are rolling with it. And we have 30 minutes to go to hopefully pick up another goal and hopefully pick up all three points. We need them at home. We need a good start to the season. I certainly need to tweak the tactic, but th th those are all stuff that y you can do after the game. Shouts, let's let's demand more, make a tactical change, and I think it's going to be close to come off and Brown to come on. We'll give Brown a chance as a shadow striker, and I reckon we'll go attacking for the last few minutes. I'm I'm confident that we're going to score. I'm I'm co I'm confident, guys. Come on, have a little faith in me. Five minutes to go, and there's a throw on. It's in their half, so I'm, I'm thinking we pick the ball up quickly, and we end up with a goal. There we go, Brown on the ball. Oh, 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 oh. That's, yep, that's, yeah, oh, wow, okay. That was stressful. I'm not going to lie, that was certainly stressful. I thought we picked it up in the right area there, but then Gesteed played a wonder ball win, and I don't know how May hasn't scored, but we'll certainly take it. Henderson on the ball, and he's passed it into da Kuna. I don't care what your name is if you score, please. Why have you taken it that wide? Why would you take it that wide? That is like, oh, that is so dumb, man. Like, I know you're a winger, but when the chance arises to cut inside and get one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper, you take it, and they've scored. They've scored. They've scored. We're going to lose 2-1 at home to Cheltenham Town on the first day of the season. Why am I so bad? I literally play this game every single day. I just don't know how to do anything with this team. Oh, okay, yeah, I forgot to do I almost forgot to do a team talk. Oh, well, I can promise you, I'll sort the tactics. Oh, I'm so mad. I'm so mad. Please like and subscribe. Can we please get six likes for the first episode of the new season even though we lost that game um, um like statistically will make us better honestly anything will make us better now what is going on there 2-1 it's a kagan press man am i gonna have to abandon the kagan press i don't know i don't know I've got to make some transfers. I've got to do something. Thank you guys so much for watching. As I said before, please make sure that you do subscribe if you are new around here. Like this video if you had enjoyed it. And uh, as I said before, six likes would be great. But, you know, I'm not your mum. I can't tell you what to do. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all later.